An unusual project is happening right now off of Hickman Road. This huge crane and solid steel weights are smashing the ground. 41 Action News anchor Richard Sharp explains how this will help build a levee. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> ground shaking. And weird to see hoisted 60 feet in the air before being dropped. Over and over and over again. Nine times in every spot. It's 19 tons of solid steel hitting with the force of 750 kilojoules per meter cubed. Think of it this way. It's the weight of an empty semi truck squished into something the size of a smart car. It's absolutely fantastic to see. There is just something about smashing and huge construction equipment that brings out the kid in all of us. It really reflects you back on those childhood days when maybe you're playing in your sandbox. The reason for all this smashing? It's called dynamic compaction. It basically means you just smash the earth down and make it more dense underneath it. They need that good foundation in order to build the levee. One drop at a time, this crane will compress an area the size of two football fields. This was the surface of the land. Take a look at how much they've been able to squish it down. And this is just the first pass. This is the second pass, more than four feet deep. This is not the usual way of building a levee. This is the first time I've seen this um, method of compaction. Have you ever seen a project like this? I have not. While it's fun to watch the finished project, a levee will protect this industrial complex and neighborhood nearby from flooding. In Kansas City, I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News. It's pretty cool to see the alternative to smashing the ground is to remove the topsoil and then replace that. That costs so much more. And the smashing part of the project will actually take about a month to finish. The levee is expected to be completed sometime in 2020.